We're going to turn this super long WordPress post into this, where we now have a read more button. You click it and you can now read more. So rather than you having to have everything in your face in one go, because maybe you have got a really long post, you can now manipulate it to kind of show a read more button after certain characters. This is done with a free bit of code that you just drop in as a HTML widget. Let me show you. We're inside Elemental single post template and you could drop in what you want. I've got it really simple, just post title, post content. And I've intentionally made the content of this WordPress post super, super long for this reason. Underneath the content, I've dropped in a HTML widget. And then we're going to drop in a bit of code. Now, before we do that, go over to your post content. This is important. Go over to the advanced tab and go and give it the ID long underscore content. If you want to change that, you can do so. Then change it in the code I'm going to provide for you. So I've got long underscore content. Then inside of the HTML widget, which I've added after the content, I'm going to drop in this code. And it might look complicated, but it's far simpler than it actually appears because it is a small bit of code. I love it when I can kind of sort things out and we don't have reams and reams of code where you're staring at it, trying to work out, well, what do I do with it and where am I allowed to change it? Look, this is now going to say to you, here's the content we're going to show. Sorry, here's the button we're going to show. It's read more content. If you want to change the wording of this, so let's go and get rid of the word content and we just have read more. We'll pop a little arrow in like that or a chevron. You can do that. If you want to style it, this is where you would style it. So I've just got blue text showing. If you want to add in background color, then add in a bit of padding, maybe border radius. So it actually now looks like a button to fit your styling. You can absolutely do that. If you go and put uh, at the minute it's display inline block. If you go and put display flex or whatever, you can then maybe align it to be somewhere else on your screen. So the functionality is there for you. This is the bit that controls what happens when you click. And by the way, when you have clicked it, and I'll show you in a moment, it does say show less so it can shrink it back again. That's what's so cool. And you may look at this code and maybe utilize it for other features and things on your website. I would love to hear what you do. Anyway, back to what the button does. Now, how does it know how much to show initially or not? Because there's nothing in the post content or even in the HTML that says what is the character length or how many words. I decided that I was going to show you 200 pixels. So that's what I've got there. So if you want to adjust that to be 50 VH or percentage, whatever you can do. So this is going to say that when we see a post, it will show you the first 200 pixel. Now, I know that's not brilliantly scientific because what if you've got a bit of an image? Is it going to slice off the image? You're going to have to play around with it and hopefully get used to how you like to build your particular pages, etc. But once you've enabled that and we now go to preview, you will now see there's the post that is 200 uh, pixels in terms of height. You click read more. It shows read more. You scroll down. I've then got show less as well. And basically that's how simple and easy it was. The link to the code is in the video description. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow because I'm Imran from Web Squadron. I got your back. See you soon. Take care. Bye. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time for the pain.